Hi guys, Poundland is selling these hovering hummingbirds and fluttering butterflies. Um, I've done a bit of work on the hovering hummingbird, including a tear down and use the bits for various things. But when I talk about the hovering hummingbird, I keep saying fluttering butterfly because years ago it was only fluttering butterflies that you could get hold of. And I did do things like this solar powered truck using the solar panel and the electric motor from a fluttering butterfly. So I was in Poundland today and thought I'll buy another fluttering butterfly just to complete the set. Hummingbird fluttering butterfly. But I'll take that one apart, pinch the motor out of it and do something similar to this, only I might 3D print a bespoke car for it. So if we're going to 3D print something to match this, we need to take it apart and see what we've got. Not terribly interested in the butterfly itself. What I want to see is how easy we can get the solar panel off and the electric motor out. Now I've already done a tear, tear down on one of these, so I know it's not difficult. But for the sake of this video, we'll do it on screen. The thing about the motors in these is they're designed to run on the low power output from the solar panel direct. There's no other circuitry involved, no um, dual thief circuit or anything like that. It's quite simply solar panel, two wires, one direct to the motor and the other down to the on-off switch. And in fact this one also gives you the opportunity to stick a battery in there. So you can stick a AAA battery in there if you want to run it off battery power. So what I want to do is get the motor out, which I think we can just push it out, yeah. And see if we can release this solar panel. Be a little bit careful because we don't want to break any wires. And there we are. So that's our solar connection. I expect if we really wanted to, we could try and get that out of this holder, but that looks to me like that's held in place with resin. It's not hot glued in place or anything. So I think we're stuck with using that panel as it is. And then that's the electric motor, so I'll take some dimensions off that, measure it up, and then we can work out what we can do with it. Just a thought while I'm taking this apart. We're not going to be using this, but this is actually quite a handy little single AA battery holder. You could either leave it as it is, and you've got the on-off switch with it. And we can take it out of there, and you've just got a nice... AAA holder, which is handy. Hmm. So quite a few useful little bits in the fluttering butterfly pack. And of course the, these bits If you want to put a stake of some sort in the garden.
Hmm. It's been crazy hot today. In fact, I will be doing a video at some time showing you how many of my 3D printed items have melted. Or at least gone soft and gone out of shape. Anyway, I did 3D print this. So we've got a big gear there. I can't remember how many teeth are on it. Bicycle spoke for the axle. And then that's the motor out of the fluttering butterfly. In fact, if I put that in the sunlight, is there enough sunlight? And of course, it's late in the afternoon now. Have to go outside to get real sunshine. Yeah, there's not really enough through the windows. I've actually got most of the windows covered now because it's ridiculously hot in here. But the idea is we will just stick that on there with a bit of double-sided tape. Just the right position so it actually makes contact. And then position that somehow so it catches the sun without the bits of wire and that fouling the wheels. So I'll do that and then we'll see if we can take it outside in the sunshine. Well, unfortunately I've left this too late in the afternoon and the sunshine we're getting now is just not strong enough. It's um, half past six, nearly seven o'clock, or going on for seven o'clock. So we'll have to cheat and use my halogen bulb. <laughs> so, yeah, I think on a sunny day we should be okay. But obviously at the moment it's too late in the afternoon. You can probably tell how late it is by the length of the shadows. We're very low down. Well, I've come outside. So I say the sun is pretty low and it's hazy. If I give it a little bit of help. So yeah, maybe tomorrow if we get full sunlight again, we should be okay. Like I say, it's been very hot. You can probably see I've got half the windows covered over in there. You've got silver foil on the windows. Because we're on a amber weather warning, amber hot weather warning. Give it a burst of light. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I won't finish the video tonight. I'll see if we get another sunny day tomorrow and try it in proper sunlight. Right, we've got real sunshine out there. We will try it inside first. Oh yeah, it does work. I'll go and see if it runs out there. Yeah, I think we got a worker. Yeah. So there we go. A solar powered car 
using the motor and the solar panel. One of them. Yeah, we'll call that a success. Can't quite go uphill. A little bit uneven here, but still, that, that's not doing bad for what it is. Oh, how about over there? It's actually tilted away from the sun, that solar panel, just so. Yep, that'll do. That works. I expect if I leave it in the sun for too long, being black, it will go soft. If you look at that wheel in the window there, that suffered in the sunlight. The uh, triangular base has buckled. Thanks for watching. If you want more information check down below in the video description if you like this video you might like this one up here and if you want to subscribe you can check out my channel over here up here is my latest video on my channel and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched thanks again for watching